What's going on everyone, my name is Mexo. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to improve your cable management with some quick and easy DIY tips and tricks. I've been using the StarTech 2x2 cable raceway for the past two years, and it's kept all my cables in check. Recently, I upgraded my entire desktop audio setup, which introduced a bunch of extra speaker cable, which were unable to fit in the 2x2 raceway. So I felt it was time to upgrade to the bigger 3x3 StarTech raceway, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on my upgrade process. All the products you see in this video will be listed in the description down below. For this cable management tutorial, you'll need three things. Firstly, and most importantly, you'll need the StarTech cable raceway. This raceway comes in a variety of sizes. For this tutorial, I'll be referencing both the 2x2 and the 3x3 raceways. What I like about this raceway is that it has slots where you can weave your cables in and out of. This allows you to cleanly cable manage all your devices across the entire length of the raceway. Secondly, you'll need cable ties to bundle your cables together. I personally use one wrap thin ties because they're Velcro and can be reused. Lastly, you'll need double sided tape. We're going to use double sided tape to stick power bricks to the underside of the desktop and optionally to stick the raceway to the bottom of the desk. I've been using Scotch 3M brand for the past couple years with no issues. The raceway comes in 6 foot lengths, so depending on how long your desk is, you'll have to cut it to your desired length. It's also made of thick plastic, so I'd recommend using a multi-purpose saw to cut it down to size. As I mentioned earlier, originally I used the StarTech 2x2 cable raceway, which I attached to the underside of the desk using 3M double-sided tape. Being that this time around I'm going to be increasing the load of the raceway with 14 gauge speaker wire, I chose to screw the raceway to the underside of the desk for added security and peace of mind. Screwing the raceway down is a fairly straightforward process, however I'd recommend drilling some pilot holes first, being that this will make screwing down the raceway a whole lot easier. Once the raceway is attached, start looping your hanging cables through the slots in the back of the raceway at your desired placement. When all your cables are looped through, use the one wrap thin ties to bundle all your cables together. Once this is done, it's as simple as attaching the lid back to the raceway. You're able to slide the lid from one side to the other, however being the legs of my desk prevent me from sliding the lid on, I have to click the lid back into place from back to front. Lastly, you're going to use the double sided tape to attach any power bricks you're using to the underside of the desk. I've been using this APC power brick for probably the past 5 years. When placing a power brick under your desk, be sure to keep it out of the way from hitting your knees, and remember to position the brick near your closest power outlet. As you can see with the end result, this cable management method is the real deal, and it's very easy to do. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Also, if you have any friends in need of a cable management makeover, be sure to share this video. If this tutorial helped you out, drop me a like and remember to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Also, follow me on Instagram at Mexo14. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.